I can make different um, different shapes, either open or closed. Being chart here, and so this is a prototype, um, and this kind of thing which I'm still working out. But you can see the effect how it works. A, uh, a low tack. So right? um, uh, I can go up. As high I, I don't as look at glass in the same 14, way. Ever. 15, uh, again, I mean it's always like, fifteen hundred, depending on the kind <laughs> of glass and how much of a. A fuse I want. Uh, but there's a tack which is they just stuck together, as, as and then there's a full and fuse where they're all kind of melded out. together. My name is Joe Drury. I am a sculptor and glass artist, and I am at the Pendleton Art Center in beautiful downtown Cincinnati. And this is what I do. What you see behind me, I recycle glass into art, and I teach people how to do this. It was what I I love to do, and I've done other things to make a living, but I've always made art. There's only two ways you think I'd learn. Yeah, there is. I got started as an artist because it turned out that the only thing I did really well was model in clay and make things with my hands. So I started playing with the kiln and decided that while I had done ceramic work in the past, uh, I wanted to see what I could do with glass. And so I started. Uh, uh, working with glass and I liked the idea of recycling so I started to look around for resources and uh, found that the materials I thought I was recycling in the special blue bins was actually all going into the mountain, the, the, the dump. And so I decided I will recycle myself and I will start working with glass, kiln forming the glass using recycled glass. And so I took that direction and started to play with it and found out that um, indeed it was possible after many, many, many um, mistakes and blow ups and tragedies uh, of, uh, of a melting time, I was able to start effectively making things that conformed to what I had in my mind to some extent. And so I started to continue to work in that area and I've been doing it for, I've been doing glass in this form for about seven years. This was an opportunity to kind of combine all the historic things I'd worked with and develop the same or similar kinds of forms that I was working for in metal in, in a new material. Right. Uh, I can go up as high as about 1450 oh, Kelly Moffat and her class uh, is writing about uh, I'll try to get it in plastic, I think it is. I made that right. Poetry, poetry, that's poetry about art. And, and so they I'm came out today to see what um, I'd rather go lower art, an artist. Higher. When I was growing up, we would recycle glass in that there was a deposit. You know, you bought a soda for 10 cents, there was a $2, a two cent deposit on it. The, the beverage in, industry at some point uh, took control of that process and found it was much uh, more cost-effective for them to just make the bottle, bottles disposable. And so in many places, including in Ohio and Kentucky, uh, the beaches and the, the woods are littered with broken glass. Uh, unlike California and Oregon, where I most recently came from, where there was a bottle bill, and so people cherished the bottles. They'd, they'd drink their beer and fill it up the back of the pickup truck, and at the end of the month they'd have uh, a bed full of bottles they'd bring down to the store and convert to a couple more cases of beer. The glass slowly draped over the form as it got hotter and hotter, so it distorted into what's called the draping effect. And at different temperatures, I get different numbers of folds. That's how I control the, the shape. Uh, I am also working in this process using, this is something fairly new, using uh, bits of my backyard, green leaves, which I place on the glass, um, and that seems to be pretty effective. And then something else I'm working on, which is new, is uh, using uh, stainless steel foil. This is just an, this is a, an old tabletop piece of an old tabletop which was heading for the landfill, and now it is something else. So there's almost nothing you can't do with um, with recycled glass and ingenuity and time and patience and. It's a lot of fun, and this is a job I don't have to retire from. The temperature gives me different numbers of, of uh, folds, and uh, more heat, more folds. Different forms give me different 
shapes as well. So there's the same process using a, a dome shape. And you can see in this case there are four folds. One, two, three, four. So a little less heat, a different shape, and we get this fold. Again, this is a draping process. Oh, that was really cool. And I added um, around the perimeter a, a, a frit of broken glass, actually part of an and old so I'm greenhouse. Taking, I'm using folding uh, form, which was I'm tempered glass, and steel, therefore it, it foil it broke into small and pieces, shards like uh, doing some side modeling of a paper, car might break. folding the, uh, the foil. And into I would like shapes. to show her Ireland because I and brought, using brought my brother's the stainless steel foil. There are quite a few things I'd like to do. I'd like to do uh, everything to like create fact. new shapes <laughs> of glass so you can see where that off. That, that, that'll be the last thing. Uh, and this is form, a, our grandparents, he was able to do that. I could do that as well. Shape.